Hey y'all, welcome back to Making It Up with Sydney. And today I wanna to share with you my San Diego makeup haul. So I'm actually also thinking about sharing my Phoenix Comic Con haul, which only has like two beauty products in it, but it has a lot of the cool, fun stuff I got at Comic Con, and I'd love to share that with you guys if you're interested. So if you'd like to see that, comment down below. And I'd love to share all that with you guys. I got some really cute keychains, plushes, fun stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna get on to the San Diego Mega Ball. So, the first thing, let's see here, I'm gonna share with you guys is the things I got from Beauty Bakery. So, I went to the actual Beauty Bakery store in San Diego. If you didn't know they have one, they have a, one in Mission, Mission Valley Mall. Yes, Mission Valley Mall. And this right here is the Illuminator. And it's called So Icy Illuminator. It comes in this really cool ice cream looking packaging. Has a sifter at the top. And yeah. Let's see here. Does it come out now? Don't know. Oh, I think you have to poke through the holes in the top. But this one isn't a gold shade. It's really, really beautiful. I'll probably be able to scrape some of it off the side. Yeah, I did. Skills right there. Skills, people. And here it is. So it's really pretty. I'm actually going to put some on my cheek. You probably can't tell because I'm wearing a crap ton of highlighter, but it is really, really pretty. I'm really into the gold tone shades for the summer, so I'm super pumped about it. This is their flower powder. I'm super pumped about this because the Cody Airspun powder is beautiful, but the smell drives me freaking nuts. I can't do it, people. <laughs> so I'm excited to try that. Now, this I am so pumped about. I've been wanting something from Natasha Denona for so long and they're so expensive that I was like, oh, I can't really like buy it. Like I can't justify the price. But this is kind of actually not in the luxury brand sort of range. This is the Natasha Denona Blush Duo. These are in the shade number 222 and number 9 Golden Coral. So I'm super pumped to try this out. It feels really soft and beautiful. So yeah. And it was $38 for the two products. So for Natasha to know that's not bad. And honestly, as far as prices in Sephora, that's not that bad. So I'm really pumped to try that out. Um, something that's not so super exciting, but I got from Victoria's Secret is some hydrating body lotion in the scent coconut milk. I love smell yes I love it I have it in hand cream and I absolutely love the smell so I'm trying to start using lotion more even though I hate the texture of lotion hate <laughs> but my skin's getting super dry so gotta do what you gotta do this is the prime and fine powder by Catrice uh, I saw Kathleen lights was really highly recommending this and I struggle to find powders for me that really actually work for my skin and mattify and do all that, but don't make me look cakey and dry. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm just going to stack all that. And from 100% Pure, me and my mom both, actually, she got lavender, but we got some, <clears throat> excuse me body butters and mine is in the sh in the scent I'm with the shade in the scent coconut lime it's a whipped body butter and it smelled absolutely amazing in the store and I'm super pumped to try it once again I'm trying to step up my skincare as far as like body skin as well not just face and so yeah I chose to got that I chose to get that not got that um <clears throat> And so here's a little duo I made from Inglot. I was super excited because they don't sell Inglot in any of the stores that I know of in Arizona. Like, any. And that's where I live. So, um, I did just a duo with two sort of pearlized pretty shades. 
shimmery pearly and yeah so I was really pumped about this and it's really exciting to make like a palette of my own the next thing let's see here I got this pretty vulgar which is the perfect time to try it out because I'm wearing a matte liquid lipstick right now it is a it's called the silent treatment pretty vulgar um matte lip moisturizer so it's supposed to moisturize your lips when you're wearing a matte liquid lipstick without making the color without like damaging the lip product under so we'll see and still making it matte so we'll see if this works i don't know it looked cool it sounded cool so i'm trying it out now let's see here I'm having a hard time keeping this all separated super well, but I wanted to try some lip products from Victoria's Secret, so I got this beautiful chrome gloss, which I had actually purchased before, and I liked it, but I was like, it is not worth $14. Well, these were on sale for 3 bucks each, and so I ended up getting three shades, and I got one chrome gloss, two matte lips, and I'm super pumped because the formula is actually really nice. I just, again, was like, it's not worth the price. But now it's even cheaper than the good drugstore lipsticks that I like. So yeah, got those. This was kind of a splurge for me. This is Famous by Huda Beauty. And yeah, it's gorgeous. It's actually very similar to the shade I'm wearing today. But that is from Lime Crime. Huda Beauty makes one of my absolute favorite liquid lipstick formulas it's just so beautiful and like it's so strange because it goes on very liquidy so you'd think it'd be insanely drying like Sahara Desert but it's not it goes on really creamy and beautiful and I've really been enjoying them so I decided to give a dark color a whirl and give it a try since I love the light one so much <clears throat> now let's get some of some of the more not so exciting products out of the way And so I got, actually this was pretty exciting for me. I got the I'm Real Vitalizing Rose Mask Sheet from Tawny Molly. And I actually really like these. I tried one of these while I was on vacation. Probably not the best time to try it because my skin was insane by the end of vacation. I went to San Diego and my skin was beautiful, like being in there for a few days. But once I was toward the end of the week, I started getting really bad blemishes. And now that I'm home, I have dry patches, which I have oily skin, so I never have dry patches. So I'm just trying to recover. So I thought this would be nice to use now that I'm back home. So these are some of the more boring products I was talking about right here. So I have two concealers to try out. Liquid Camouflage from Catrice and Master Conceal by Maybelline. I've heard great things about both, so I wanted to give them a try, give them a whirl. This is the Catrice Tinted Lip Glow Balm. I mean, it's just like a pretty balm. Like, there's nothing like super crazy about it. And then the Essence um, Eye Primer. I was gonna give a whirl. So those were just kind of products that I was like, I was at Ulta, found it, hey. Now, I am going to finish up the products that I got at Ulta and I think I'm going to, and Sephora, and then I'm going to talk about the stuff I got at Rite Aid, which I'm really pumped about. We do not have Rite Aids in Arizona, so I'm going to finish up the Sephora and Ulta products and then move on to that. So me and my mom got this Minted Rose Lip Balm from Sephora. We wanted to give it a whirl. It smells amazing smells so good and I love the smell of mint and rose so to see it go together perfectly was amazing then I got the Ciate London liquid velvet lip I don't know how I feel about it I feel like I probably paid way too much for it to be very honest um this is in the shade oh honey I'm probably gonna end up returning it to be honest I wasn't super impressed with it and there's just so many other great products on the market that it's like, why keep something that I'm kind of like, meh. Then I'm going to try these two Essence Mascaras. I've heard some great things about Essence Mascaras, so I'm really pumped. This wand looks right up my alley. Here, I'll put it over my face so you can see it better. 
And this is the Rockin' Doll Crazy XXXXL volume. And then the False Lashes Dramatic Volume Mascara. So this one, I'm going to give it a try too. So yeah. Oh, I dropped it. Dropped it all over the floor. I'm going to wipe it on my shirt really quick. The floor is covered in dog fur. So there's that. Um, then I got a Fiona Styles lipstick. The first Fiona Styles lipstick I got completely broke, so I'm kind of afraid this one's gonna break too. It smells nice. The shade is Venice. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see. If it breaks, they'll be going back, just like the other one, because it's ridiculous for a lipstick to break just from gently pressing on your lips. All right. These are all items from Rite Aid. I was super pumped to go to Rite Aid. We do not have one in Arizona that I know of, and I found some things that I can't find in Arizona. So these are some lip smacker um, scents, flavors, whatever you want to call them, that I haven't found in Arizona. There was a trio, which was Coco Cabana, Pina Colada, Tiki Tangerine, and then I found Pink Lemonade as a single. I was on vacation. All of this sounded amazing. I just turned 21, so all the drink type stuff sounded amazing. So I just wanted to get all these. I love lip smackers. I love the scents. So yeah. And I use them up relatively fast because I use like it every day, constantly, all day. Especially if I'm not wearing a liquid lipstick. Next thing I wanted to share with y'all is some products from the brand Black Radiance. Now I had tried a product from Black Radiance before and it was their black gloss and I really liked it. I mean the glitter in it was kind of annoying but it was what I was looking for pretty much out of a black gloss. So I decided when I saw these matte perfect tone lip creams to get them. So we have Matte Bright, Matte Out Loud, Matte by Demand, and Matte Muse. So lots of crazy fun colors. Uh, they all seem to have a slightly metallic sheen. So I'm really pumped about these. Uh, the brand so far, I mean I've only tried one product, but they seem really great. The price is right. I mean these were like three dollars each. So. All right. Um, I have not been able to find a Black Radiance display in Arizona, and so that's part of why I grabbed it too. These are, let's see here, a Black Radiance Baked Blush. I just love the shade. I might end up using it as an eyeshadow. I don't know, but it is in Raspberry. Uh, Black Radiance makes face products and a lot of different makeup products that are supposed, that are, um, I think they're actually made for, yeah, they're made for, made for uh, women of color and people of color. I should say people of color because men wear makeup too. And I really love that about them because I know that, you know, that side of the shade range gets really, really, really neglected. Same with like the super, super, super fair people on the other side. And so I think it's really cool that they do that. And... I just really liked the idea of it and I also really liked some of their other products. I mean like I was looking at it and this is what really drew me to them is this shadow box. So the colors are bright and I thought you know oh they'll probably be super pigmented and yeah I mean they make really awesome bold lip colors. I'm super excited to try them and I'm super excited to try a brand that caters towards other skin tones and other people and it doesn't just kind of fit in that little box because I don't really usually like makeup that's in the box. So, um, they all have a lot of different bright eyeshadows and bright lips, so I'm really pumped to try those. I also follow them on Instagram, so if you would like to see kind of more of what they have, I would go there for sure. So here's Jessie's Girl. This is a little palette. This was like $3. Like, Jessie's Girl is super cheap. With the exception of their eyeliners, which these were like $6, which I was like, meh. 
I was like, when will I ever see them again? So I got like a lavender one, which would be great for like eye art and lip art. And then I thought this was waterproof black. It's blue. So <laughs> I'm about to experiment with that. I also got, um, it's called Twist and Shout Lip Balm. Super pumped about that. And the last product I got from Jessie's Curl is called Glow Stick Lip Gloss. So it just looks like really intense. Oh, you can even see it on camera. I have never seen like one of those quote unquote holographic glosses actually look good on camera. So let's see. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm super pumped now. La la la. Okay. On the hand. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look great on camera. Let's try in the middle of the lip. O-M-G. That looks cool. Oh, I got some of my lipstick in there. Let's pat it on with my finger then. I mean, that looks cool. Like, it actually resembles slightly what's in the tube. So, I mean, that's really neat. I've never found one of those glosses to be useful or anything. So, that's great. The last two things are this Maybelline Little Palette. Figured to give it a try. It was on sale at Target. Heard some great things about the metallic -y shades. Simple as that. Milk Makeup eye stamp. This is a heart. Just wanted to try something fun and cute for milk makeup. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for you. And that is my San Diego haul. Pretty large haul, kind of ridiculous haul. Probably will be returning some of the items haul. Yeah. So <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Bye. By the way, that's my lipstick.